This video will not end until every franchise that has never won a Super Bowl wins one. Since it's Super Bowl weekend, I had to do something for the teams that have never hoisted the Lombardi. So I made every single one of them 99 overall. And we're going to see how many simulations it takes each of them to win it all. We have the Texans, the Lions, the Jaguars, Browns, Chargers, Titans, Cardinals, Bengals, Panthers, Falcons, Vikings, and Buffalo Bills. Bills. That's the team we're going to start with. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs and company, 99 overall. Every single team is going to look exactly like this. Three X-Factor wide receivers, an X-Factor running back, X-Factor quarterback, and tight end. O-line is going to be all superstars. And then on defense, every single starter will have X-Factor. Three cornerbacks. So here we go. Simulation number one. First one of the video for the Buffalo Bills. And would you look at that? They made it there on their first attempt playing a against the Niners they go 17 and 0 first in almost every major category except rushing yards per game just a dominant performance exactly what I was hoping for Josh Allen is first in almost every category he breaks the record for passing yards and passing touchdowns 61 tutties to only six interceptions 73 percent police percentage that might be a record too I don't even know man I, I lost track 21 touchdowns and almost 2,000 yards for Singletary phenomenal performance from everyone on this offense 2,000 yard receivers almost had Stephon Diggs get 1,800 yards man 21 touchdowns as well McKenzie at 10 three guys had 17 plus sacks Vaughn obliterates the sack record 27 and a half four interceptions for Teron Johnson to lead the team Allen takes home the MVP this is a storybook year for the Bills even McDermott ends up with coach of the year Allen OPOI DPOI goes to Vaughn best QB Mr. Allen running back single Terry Diggs gets the best wide receiver. Bates gets the best old lineman. Could the Bills have a clean sweep? No. They miss out on the linebacker award. Don't have anyone in the top 10 for that. Tehran ends up top four for best DB. And their kicker ends up eighth. But it's not a matter of just getting to the Super Bowl. Buffalo has done that plenty of times. It's a matter of getting the W in the biggest game of the year, man. Let's see if they can get it done on the first attempt. Starting off really nicely. 24-9 against a really good roster, man. Debo, McCaffrey, and company are still on that squadron look at buffalo on simulation number one ideally i would hope that every single franchise can get it done on the first simulation hopefully they follow in buffalo's footsteps and there it is first time ever the bills are super bowl champions now on to the next team next up we have the vikings Kirk cousins dalvin cook jefferson hawkinson all of them x factor all of them 99 overall once again we're hoping they get it done in the first simulation and if it's a close game we'll get some gameplay but it could be a blowout simulation number one can they follow in the footsteps of the buffalo bills let's find out if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way in the vikings end up making it in their first attempt they go 12 and 5 so not quite as dominant as buffalo they end up third in points per game top seven in every major category still had a really good season kirk ends up throwing for 5,000 yards 38 tutties only 12 picks dalvin has 1300 yards and then 14 rushing touchdowns jefferson had 1400 yards through the air thielen had 1300 they combined for 17 receiving touchdowns 20 sacks by dalvin thomason leads the team but they had four guys in double digits shandon sullivan with four picks to lead their squad burrow ends up winning the mvp kirk squeaks into the top 10 and their coach was not in the top seven for coach of the year so this is a little bit different than what we saw from the bills but all that matters of course is who's able to hoist the Lombardi. Vikings have a lot of players in the top 10, man. Almost every single award they're featured. So, hey, this team is still looking really good. Their first opponent is another franchise we're going to see later in the video. Chargers are not 99 overall just yet, but they are already in the Super Bowl. It's not going to count as their attempt. But the Vikings are in a close game against Los Angeles up for the start of fourth quarter in their first Super Bowl of the experiment. Let's see if this defense can get a stop. Third and inches, ginormous play. Eckler right up the gut. They need to channel that purple people eaters energy one of the best nicknames of all time in my opinion gonna be man coverage right here herbert with pressure gonna throw it to the end zone and complete all the cornerbacks are up to the line of scrimmage pressing all the wide receivers Everett gets another first down for los angeles less than three minutes now for minnesota to try to get the super bowl done on their first simulation herbert off his back foot in double coverage he's a little lucky that one was not picked off right now the vikings are hoping they can bend but 
could not break. Man coverage again. Eckler gets a catch, stays in bounds. Clock continues to tick. It's a third down and six. They have to watch Everett. He's been a go-to guy on these third downs. Right now, Zadarius is the one lined up across from him. And there's the sack. Huge play by Dalvin Tomlinson. Fourth and 13. This is, you would think, for all the marbles. If the Vikings get a stop, they should be able to win. Incomplete pass. Harrison the Hitman forces the incompletion. Now they just need one first down or two. And this one's a wrap. Jefferson in motion. It's going to be a handoff to Dalvin. Up the gut. Getting a nice gain. Look at him fight. That's almost the best case scenario if you're Minnesota. You take one of their timeouts. Now you can get a first down and then take multiple timeouts. They're not going to have any time if they even get the ball back. Oh no, you don't want to fumble though. Dalvin coughs it up. Derwin scoops it up. And Minnesota might have just fumbled their Super Bowl win away. Can Hitman Kendricks, Simba, and company get the stop? They leave Eckler wide open. The Chargers take the lead. Kirk Cousins still has all three timeouts. He just needs to get a field goal range. That's a nice start. Throw to Adam Thielen. Very next play, same thing. Adam Thielen, but they use two timeouts after just two plays. They have one remaining, and they need at least, I want to say, 20 maybe 25 yards getting in field goal range that's a nice dot Thielen has been monstrous on his drive he's gonna shake off a tackle and get the game winning touchdown leave it to the Vikings to cause just a roller coaster of emotions for their fan base but at the end of the day they still get it done on the first simulation Minnesota is finally Super Bowl champions and so far every single franchise in this video has done it on the first try next up is the Atlanta Falcons a team that was oh so close back in 2016 and then they had to deal with Tom Brady so yeah I feel for their fans I feel for their franchise time to see if Kyle Pitts Mariota Cordero Patterson and company can take this team all the way on their first simulation the Falcons end up making it they're the second team to go undefeated in this experiment and they play someone we have already seen hoist the Lombardi in this video the Buffalo Bills here's how they stack up Atlanta ends up top seven in every major category as well first in points per game with 40 Mariota leads the league with 57 passing touchdowns only six INTs the ratios are just insane so far in this experiment Patterson almost had 1500 yards on the ground 19 rushing touchdowns 3,000 yard receivers for Mariota almost had a fourth one Lorenzo Carter leads them with 22 and a half sacks four guys with double digit sacks eight interceptions the most we've seen so far from Isaiah Oliver and yet another MVP on an undefeated team Mariota takes it home coach of the year goes to Arthur Smith oh Mariota couldn't quite win OPOI though look at that they're just getting snubbed second place could this be a theme hopefully Hopefully not for ATL. Right now, they're getting second in a lot of categories. Not what you want when you're headed into the last game of the season where there's only first or second place. Can Young Way Ku help Atlanta win their first Super Bowl? I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird getting these matchups with two teams that have never won a Super Bowl. Feels like EA knows we're doing something like this, like they're trolling us just a little bit. Low scoring game to start this one. Things pick up right before halftime. Tie game heading into half number two. ATL still in it. Let's see who's gonna break to tie first or maybe we go into overtime buffalo's driving buffalo gets a touchdown on their drive now mariota needs a game winning drive to make it happen second and 10 dump off patterson gets tackled in bounds third down and nine mariota throws a laser for the first down they're across midfield with only one timeout remaining need to get a touchdown he's gonna go to his running back once again who's gonna stay in bounds only a five second runoff not terrible but what would be terrible is if von miller somehow gets the sack London almost got the catch. It bounces off Tredavious White's helmet. Couldn't have happened to an unluckier franchise, man. I mean, just think about the history that the Falcons have had. To lose because of something like that would be devastating. But remember, this video is not going to end until we see all 12 franchises hoist the Lombardi. So if it doesn't happen on the first simulation, we're going to keep going till it does. And for the first time in the video, a team is not going to get it done. Buffalo plays spoiler in this one. We're headed to simulation number two. This time they go 16 and one, but they don't make the Super Bowl. A 99 overall Falcons team got obliterated in the NFC Championship game 38 to 14 by Philadelphia. That Super Bowl looks a little familiar, but Atlanta is headed to simulation number three. Speaking of the number three, shout out to the third member on the channel, Frankie. You guys don't have to become members. You don't have to donate even one penny to the channel. All I ask is that you like the video. 
Now let's see if the Falcons can finally pull it off. The Falcons are back in the Super Bowl. This time they're playing against Cincinnati. They go 16 and one again. Here are their stats. Now let's see if the third time's the charm for Matty Ice's old team. And once again, a very slow start for ATL. Six to zero on this one. Make it nine zero. What is going on in the big game with the Falcons? Like why? Why must they put their fans through so much pain? Here they come fighting back in the fourth quarter to get their first Super Bowl ever. Mariota with a nice comeback, scoring 24 unanswered at one point, and the Falcons are finally Super Bowl champions. Final tally is three simulations. Staying in the same division, we're headed to Carolina. Another team that has recently been in the Super Bowl, had an MVP, had a phenomenal season, but just did not produce in the biggest game when it matters. Can they get it done in simulation number one? At the very least, we know they're going to be in the big game. They go 16-1, and one, but these are the lowest rankings we've seen in any categories in this video so far. 16th, middle of the pack in pass defense, and only 11th in passing offense. But you wouldn't know by looking at Sam Darnold's stats, 51 touchdowns, only 5 picks. Deontay Foreman in that run game is what's carrying them. Over 30 rushing touchdowns on the ground. DJ Moore leads them in receiving with 1,200 yards. 21 sacks for your Tur Gross Matos. Burns is third on the team with 14. Their pass rush is looking phenomenal. Two guys had three interceptions. Their quarterback wins MVP. Sam Darnold takes it home. They had two top 10 finishes. And Matt Rule wins coach of the year. I gotta say, it's looking pretty good. This is the first time we've seen the quarterback and the running back in the top 10. Or maybe I missed out. If that did happen earlier in the video, I'm sorry. I didn't mention it. But yeah, it's looking good for the Panthers. I mean, they have someone in the top 10 for, once again, every major category. Except for linebacker. Why is it so stacked at the linebacker position? I don't know. After a 42-0 drubbing in the NFC Championship game and a 49-3 victory in the Divisional, the only team left is the one seed Baltimore Ravens. Remember, every other team stays the same in this experiment. We made 12 different saves in franchise mode, made sure to put every team at a 99 overall with all the X factors possible. So the Panthers have a huge advantage in this one, and they start the second half off with a nice, comfortable lead. Can they hold on to it? 10 point game late in the fourth, and the Panthers are the third team to get it done on their first try. On to Cincinnati and Joe. A team we've already seen in the Super Bowl in this experiment, but they weren't as good as this, okay? They were still in the 80s, I'm pretty sure. Now they're a 99 overall, stacked to the brim. I have a good feeling they get it done on their first try. The Bengals go 16-1. and They make it to the Super Bowl on their first try, and their stats look absolutely disgusting. Top four in every major category. Burrow versus Brady in the Super Bowl. As you would expect, nasty stats from Joe Burrow, 5,300 yards 54 touchdowns only five picks 27 rushing touchdowns for joe mixon 100 yards per game for 1700 yards same exact yardage as t higgins they had 3,000 yard receivers chase wasn't one of them on defense four guys with double digit sacks hendrickson leads the way three ints for mike hilton to lead the team and another mvp for another franchise in this video same thing with coach of the year a top three finish for three different players on their team that has to be the best we've seen so far. This team is looking good. Once again, they've already been here. Like, as recently as any other team in this video. So to say they have some experience would be an understatement. But no one has more experience than Tom Brady. And if there's one man that can be in a 99 overall team in the Super Bowl, it's him. Don't have any tips? Just, just beat him. J just beat Tom Brady. I don't even want to say go up early. Because, you know, he's great at comebacks and things of that nature. Unless you're going to blow him out, then I mean, come on but we've seen him have three points and be down to a team in the 20s before so this is far from over people even though it's the fourth quarter i still can't count him out just yet 28 to 3 against brady but this time there's no coming back cincinnati as predicted gets it done on simulation number one back to the nfc we go looking at arizona another team that has been very heartbroken man the larry fitzgerald days the kurt warner days i mean they've had 
opportunities, but none better than this one. With Kyler at a 99, with Escape Artist, Nuke Hopkins, Connor, Hollywood Brown, Ertz, already has hoisted the Lombardi before. So they have certain guys with experience, and now they have a golden opportunity to get JJ Watering before he retires. Arizona, another team that goes undefeated 17 0, top 10 in every category, first in points per game with 37. They have to play against the team we just saw, Cincinnati, who makes it back to the Super Bowl. Let's see if they can stop Arizona in their first attempt. But first, we got to see what Kyler and company were able to do. 43 touchdowns, only 10 picks. Connor had 1,800 yards, 21 touchdowns. Zach Ertz leads the team with 1,037 yards. Hopkins and Anderson both had 1,000 yard seasons. And JJ Watt was second behind Zach Allen with 21 and a half sacks, three guys with double digit sacks, four interceptions for Zayvon Collins. Kyler ends up with the MVP. Cliff gets second in coach of the year behind Zach Taylor. So it's going to be tough. They have some competition. Their running back wins offensive player of the year. Kyler gets best QB. Connor, best running back. Cardinals should be looking good. They should be in position to win this whole thing. And off we go to the Super Bowl. Here we go. 3-0 and after one for the Cardinals. They have a nice little advantage. Let's see if they can keep it. 10-0 now. Actually make it 17-0 for Kyler and company. This is not how I expect expected it to go. I thought it'd be a lot closer after the regular season the Bengals just had, but Arizona is going to join four other squads as they hoist the Lombardi on their first attempt. We're halfway done. Now we make our way over to Tennessee. Henry should have already been a 99 at some point in his career, but now he is for sure along with the rest of his team. Last time the Titans were in the Super Bowl, I think was when they played the Rams and they end up one yard short. Another franchise that has been unlucky on the biggest stage hopefully that changes in the first simulation the titans go 15 and 2 they make it to the super bowl but their stats look a little weird man they're 25th in passing yards a game because they averaged almost 175 yards on the ground in every single game Tannehill's stats look really good though 47 touchdowns only nine picks only 4,000 yards that's because henry had another 2,000 yard season people 17 rushing touchdowns 125 yards a game is ridiculous they also had a 1500 yard receiver in robert woods 23 touchdowns doing his best randy moss impersonation they had two guys in double digit sacks simmons leads them with 16 seven interceptions for zach cunningham most we've seen in a while and Tannehill takes home the mvp i'm shocked that derrick henry was not in the top 10 hopefully ea changes that next year they need to let running backs have an opportunity henry's own teammate robert woods finished higher than him in terms of opoy he ends up third in best running back so yeah he probably has a chip on his shoulder not someone i would want to go against if i'm the cowboys but that's the cards they were dealt can the titans become our sixth franchise to get the super bowl win on their first attempt they start out seven to three it's an all blue super bowl my favorite color 28 points in the first half for the titans henry and his offense is just dominant 38 points now and it's looking good tennessee's finally gonna hoist the lombardi Henry gets a ring and we have five franchises remaining. Now it's the Chargers turn to see if they can finally get this ring. They've had so many talented rosters over the years. None as talented as this one, however. Can Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, and company finally bring LA their first ring? For only the second time in the video, a franchise that was 99 overall did not make it to the Super Bowl. It ends up being the Bills and the Packers. Chargers go 15 and 2, but their run stopped in the AFC championship game Buffalo upset them and now we're headed straight to simulation number two not even gonna waste time simulation number two they don't make it either even after a 17 and 0 season this time they lose in the divisional round to Kansas City not even a team that made the Super Bowl I know it's not looking good right now Chargers fans but you guys will win a Super Bowl some point in this video it's just gonna take at least three simulations third times the charm for Los Angeles 16 and 1 season they're also facing off against brady in the super bowl and their stats look phenomenal top three in every category herbert with the triple crown most passing yards most passing touchdowns and the highest passer rating 55 touchdowns is crazy ty and peyton manning for the most in a season eckler with 1700 yards 20 touchdowns he added eight more through the air 20 touchdowns through the air for keenan they had 3,000 yard receivers almost a fourth one last time we saw that formula that team ended up winning
winning the Super Bowl. So it's looking good. Look at this. Five people in double digits for sacks. I don't think we've seen that yet. In this video, three interceptions for Bryce to lead the team. Herbert ends up with the MVP. Brandon Staley ends up with coach of the year. Eckler with OPOI. Keenan was right behind him. You know things are looking good when you win OPOI. You win DPOI. You win best QB, best wide receiver, best offensive line, top three and best D lineman, even best linebacker. We haven't seen a team sweep this many categories, but will it lead to a Super Bowl win for the Chargers? Let's find out. They start off slow, down zero to six against Brady and the Buccaneers, but they take the lead in the second quarter. No team in this video has taken longer than three simulations to get it done. And I think that stat is going to hold true. Still an entire quarter left. Brady gets a touchdown quick. He gets another touchdown. Oh my goodness. There's no way the Chargers are going to go out. They take the lead right back before the end and they get the W. What a game winning drive by Herbert. Los Angeles is finally a Super Bowl champion, man. Good for the Chargers. Cleveland is up next. One of the most tortured fan bases in all of sports now gets to see their team become a 99 overall, man. Unless they were alive in the Graham era, they haven't seen much winning over there in Cleveland. So Miles Garrett and company will hoist the Lombardi. The only question is how long will it take them? Well, they're halfway there. They made it to the big game, 15 and two on the season. They don't have the best pass defense, 25th in the league against a top 10 passing offense in Green Bay. 60 touchdowns from Deshaun Watson, only eight interceptions, 5,300 passing yards. The run game is just as good. Chubb, 1,300 yards, 22 rushing touchdowns, seven for Kareem, a 2,000 yard receiver, and Amari Cooper, 30 receiving touchdowns, obliterating the record. Him and Deshaun Watson, that's the duo. The duo that saves Cleveland, man. Four guys on defense with double digit sacks, 19 and a half for Clowney to lead everybody. Newsom and John Johnson, both with three interceptions. And Cleveland has an MVP. Watson ends up taking it home. Their coach ends up third. So maybe a little disrespect from the award givers right there. Amari Cooper takes home OPOY. Clowney could not quite take home DPOY, but they have a lot of guys in the top 10 of these awards. There it is, the Super Bowl. Cleveland back in the big dance. Haven't seen this in a while. I don't even know the last time that the Browns have been in the Super Bowl. Hasn't happened in my lifetime, I don't think. But hey, it's happening right now, and, and it's looking pretty good for their chances to win. 41-7 to at the start of fourth quarter. Deshaun Watson, Amari Cooper, Miles Garrett, Nick Chubb, and Cleveland are finally Super Bowl champions. They get it done on their first try, and now we have three franchises remaining. Now, this team's coach has already hoisted the Lombardi for a different franchise. And that was the first one for that city. Now let's find out if Doug Peterson can do it again. We're going to Jacksonville. The prince that was promised is now a 99 overall with a nasty group around him. All of them are maxed out. Best roster Peterson has ever had. Let's see how they do on their first simulation. How poetic, man. We have Peterson going up against his former team, Philadelphia, after a marvelous regular season. 17-0, top three once again in every single single category. Lawrence had himself a nasty season. 65 passing touchdowns, 26 interceptions. I think that might be the best season we have seen so far. Almost 80% completion. Travis Etienne also had a dominant season. 1,800 yards, 18 touchdowns, 4,000 yard receivers. Talk about spreading the ball around. All four of them had double digit touchdowns as well. This could be the best season we have seen so far. 23 and a half sacks for Josh Allen to lead everyone. They had three guys in double digits. Shaquille Griffin with six INTs. It wouldn't even make sense for anyone else to win MVP. Lawrence gets it done. Peterson gets coach of the year. I'm telling you, this is a flawless season, people. Like We have not seen a season this dominant, I don't think, from top to bottom on offense and on defense in this entire video, man. Jacksonville deserves it. Oh, man, this is going to hurt to see the beat down there about to inflict on my team, the Eagles. But after one quarter, it's only a 7-0 ball game. Philly's hanging in there against a team that was that good. That dominant, that explosive throughout the season. It's a one possession game at the start of the fourth because of the turnovers. Jacksonville has coughed it up three times. That's the only reason why this is a game. Now we get to see if the Jaguars can stop Hurts and company. They get the pick and now they have great field position. Let's see what Lawrence does with this short field. Already in field goal range. They can extend their lead to eight at the very least, but they can't afford to give the ball away. ETN has over 150 receivers receiving yards on the day. Lawrence just using all of his weapons. He loves
loves going to his running back. This time, it's going to be incomplete. They settle for the three. Now it's the defense's turn to see if they can get a stop once again. Let's find out. Philly with the ball once again. Less than four minutes left in this one. Peterson versus own city, but it's a tie ball game. The defense could not stop Philly's offense. So now it's all up to the Prince that was promised in this offense. They're going to start off with a run. Lawrence has done it before, man. That comeback they had against the Chargers was unbelievable. So if there's anyone that can pull this off, it's is gonna be him to his credit he only has one interception on the day so the other turnovers have been fumbles by you know somebody on the jaguars offense etn gets the first however and now they're moving and grooving oh they give the ball back to philly what is going on man how how do you let that happen jacksonville you were cooking all you had to do was get three and now you're down three in the fourth quarter can you take it to overtime no you decide to take the lead instead and another thrilling finish Jacksonville wins on their first simulation. A game winning drive by Trevor Lawrence. He couldn't have asked for a better finish. Houston up next. The Texans have been heartbroken, even though they haven't been around for that long. Now they have a 99 overall. They have an elite running back in Damian Pierce. Phenomenal defense, top to bottom. Secondary is looking like it has a lot of potential in real life. But in this simulation, they're all maxed out. Can they get it done on the first simulation? Even after an amazing regular season 15 and 2 by the Texans they don't make it to the Super Bowl it's only the third time in this video that a franchise has not been able to make it to the big game on their first simulation and win it the Texans lose in the AFC championship game to the Ravens 31 21 and we're on to simulation number two back-to-back -back simulations where the Texans cannot make it to the Super Bowl after a great regular season I honestly don't know what to say like I feel terrible for them that they keep on losing to the Ravens in the championship game. I mean, look at this. All 99 overalls. Meanwhile, the Ravens have 199. That's Mark Andrews. Hopefully, they can get past Baltimore in simulation number three. Finally, the Texans make it all the way to the Super Bowl. 14-3 and on the season. They have a matchup with the Commanders. They have a pretty bad passing defense. 28th in the league. Their passing offense is 20th. Davis Mills has a pedestrian season compared to the rest of the quarterbacks we've seen so far. 34 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions but Damian Pierce did a lot of heavy lifting averaged almost six yards a carry for 1700 on the season they had 2,000 yard seasons Chris Moore Brandon Cooks on defense they had three guys with double digit sacks Greenard led them with 16 five INTs for Steven Nelson they don't take home the MVP Hertz gets the MVP in this one no top 10 finish but their coach Lovey Smith was second in terms of coach of the year so this is not the most statistically dominant team but you don't have to be like we've seen Super Bowl winning teams that finished like nine and seven had negative point differentials during the regular season so you don't have to be amazing all you have to do is hoist that Lombardi do whatever it takes to get the W in the last game of the season let's see if Steven Nelson and company can make it happen now I didn't expect every franchise to get it done on the first simulation I knew there would be a few unlucky ones because that's why they're here in the first place because they've been unlucky in real life they have never won the Super Bowl but three seems to be the lucky lucky number if not for one like they've never got it done on the second or the fourth simulation you know there's never been a four for any of these teams will that continue we have a close one can houston continue the streak of teams getting it done within three simulations right now the texans are up five but the commanders are moving with no timeouts second and one heineke on the run and complete gonna bring up a third down clock does stop but they need a touchdown and the texans need to make sure that doesn't happen here comes a blitz off the edge robinson gets the catch he's trying to get out of bounds but he cannot get there stingley with the nice tackle they're gonna run the ball with zero timeouts i don't know if that's the right play call back-to-back -back runs fourth and nine now after what has been just a terrible string of play calling Heineke, Fine and McLaurin, they're inside the 10, but the clock hits zero. If this is on the Commanders, then Houston wins the Super Bowl. It is. And a very weird ending to this season. The Texans finally hoist the Lombardi, and we have one franchise remaining. We have the Detroit Lions. Jared Goff and the rest of his team is a 99 overall. They're the last franchise remaining. Can they get it done on the first try? Let's find out. Of course, Detroit ends 
up being unlucky, they don't make it in their first attempt even after a 16 and 1 season where they were top 10 in every category. Aaron Rodgers continues to terrorize the NFC North 25 24 in the divisional. Lions don't even make it to the conference championship game. Let's move on to the next sim. And there it is the Lions make the Super Bowl. They're playing against the Ravens. Once again, they have phenomenal regular season stats. They finish 16 and 1. And for the final time in the video, we're going to look through the stats. Well, hopefully, the final time. They still have to win the Super Bowl. Jared Goff had 40 touchdowns. Jamal Williams, 21 rushing touchdowns, 1,500 yards. Amon Russ St. Brown with a thousand yard season. On defense, it was Aiden Hutchinson with 19 sacks to lead the entire team. Okwara had 12. Multiple guys with four INTs. The MVP goes to Mahomes. They don't even end up with a top 10 finish. Coach of the year, however, goes to Detroit. Dan Campbell brings it home. But yeah, Jamal Williams gets the OPOY. DPOY Hutchinson was in the top three. Golf ends up the sixth best running back. Jamal best wide receiver. So on paper, they're looking pretty good. Okay, 99 overall. Of course, they're looking good. Will it be good enough though? Detroit has been a tortured fan base, much like a lot of these teams for a very long time. I'm hoping they can get it done here just to, you know, put an end to this madness. Okay, let them hoist the Lombardi. They're off to a great start. At this point, if EA does not let them win it, it's going to feel even worse than if they just let them get blown out. 28 to 10 to start a fourth. Detroit looks like they're going to hold on and they do. The first and only franchise to get it done on the second simulation. And there you have it. Every single team that has never won a Super Bowl wins one in this video. If you've watched this late, I just want to say thank you. And if you watched the Mutt Draft video I did a few days ago, I messed up. I made the gameplay members only. I apologize. Should not have done that. It will never happen again. I'll never ask you guys to spend money. All I ask is that you like the video. That's it. I'm only human. I make mistakes. So yeah, I apologize for that. Once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the Super Bowl and I'll see you on the next one.